Hi, I'm Ed from Crystal Clear Aquatics and I'm here on site in a nice large deep pond which we have just completed construction of and it's given me an opportunity to do something which I've often wondered about um, ever since I've been wearing waders and working in aquatic environments and that is what would happen if I was to wade beyond my depth and have my waders fill up with water? Am I going to sink? Is it going to be so filled with water and so heavy that it's going to kind of drag me down? Um, is the water going to fill up and essentially make me buoyant because I've got trapped air inside the waders? Is nothing going to happen? Is it just going to be neutral buoyancy because I'm in the same aquatic environment that's in my waders but surrounding me? I don't know. And there are cases when I'm working in ponds that are too deep um, that I have to be very careful of. Um, I have to tie ropes or make sure that I've got a colleague with me in case something were to happen. So after 20 odd years of being in this trade, I'm finally going to leap into a pond with my waders on and we're going to see what happens. Now I'm sure I'm not going to sink to my bottom. So... <laughs> I might rephrase that. So after 20 years of being in the trade, I am finally going to leap into a pond and see what happens. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to sink to the bottom. Thankfully the pond isn't so deep that I can't stand up if I had any issues, but it is deeper than the waders so I will get to see what happens if they fill up. Uh, and I have my safety crew, my cameraman here who can help me if I do get into any difficulty. So as you can see I am a little bit wet, I have already been in the pond once, but not with my waders, so a good opportunity for me to just leap in and see what happens. Tally ho! Well, I'm floating. I'm still floating. My feet and the ends of my waders are filled up with air. And then around my legs, the, the PVC waders have kind of shrink wrapped around me and trapped the air inside. So actually, as long as I move my arms around, it's like having a, a life preserve. And let's see what happens if I actually fill up with water. Okay, so that's getting rid of all of the air. And you know, absolutely nothing. Apart from being very wet, I'm not being obscured, obstructed, restricted by any way by having the waders on. If I had to, I'd be able to swim, I can walk. I think getting out is going to be a challenge as it's probably going to be quite heavy. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's quite heavy. But I didn't sink. So, unofficially conclusive that going into a pond out of your depth in waders you're not going to sink to your death. I hope you found that useful. I have. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I'm Ed from Crystal Clear Aquatics. Thank you for watching. I do this in winter. It would be a real struggle to try and get them off.